Right now, Patrick is with Angelos. Pat, what do we got today, bud? All right, we're under, already underway. Angelos of Cumberland is with us this morning. Christine and Alexandria are here to make some. Uh, well, last time you here, you made baklava, yes. and you got, you brought in some more yes, because you know <laughs> how crazy I went when you brought it here exactly. last time, right? Yes, oh, yes, so good. And I'm sure these. What do you got? Stuffed peppers this morning? We yes. have Greek stuffed peppers. Greek stuffed pepper. What makes a Greek stuffed pepper different from a normal stuffed pepper? The dill, scallions. And, the the feta, and a Greek's and making and it, that's why. And the what? And, and a Greek's making it. And a Greek it. is making it. <laughs> okay, so what do we have over here? You said the feta, and what else? We have feta, we have parsley, dill, scallions, white onion, garlic, tomato sauce, feta, cheddar, and olive oil. Everything's better with feta. Yes, that's absolutely. What we say absolutely. Around here. So yeah. uh, is this one of your uh, po more popular? We like to call this a comfort food, right? In the it fall, is. Right? It is a very, very popular one. Yes, yeah. it's very popular. People love it. And you know you can uh, stuff also other vegetables that I have right over here. It doesn't have to be peppers. You can stuff basically anything. So healthy, and then the baklava is. Yeah, you know, that's where downfall comes. After. Really, is it fat free this edition? It is. It is. One? This one, it sugar is. free, fat free. Yeah. Patrick, we were thinking of you. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. I love when you folks come in because it. Thank you. Makes me eat a lot. That's and good. It's, that's eats what we good food. Do. Angelo's restaurant of Carmel with us this morning here on the road show. We're gonna fire up these stuffed peppers and. Chow on some baklava as well coming up throughout the show. Find the recipe and the ingredients online at foxprovenance.com. I'll have to unbutton my suit as the show goes on. Here yes. all the food I'm going to eat. Back to you. All right. Send it on over to Lily, who's making those stuffed peppers. <laughs> I am making the stuffed peppers, but first we're going to talk some specials with Alex and Christine. Because you guys got a lot of stuff going on. At we have a book. Yeah, tell me about this. Angela's Restaurant of Cumberland. Yes. Uh, this is a heavy menu. It is here. very heavy. So what are some of the specials that you guys have going on? And I have to say, every time you guys cook here, it is so delicious. The whole place goes crazy Thank because you. you guys are so cute. Thank you. And so Thank tell you. me a little bit about what uh, some of the specials you're running are. Well, we run um, Monday through Wednesday. We run a dinner for two special. Okay. It's a bottle of wine. I'm liking it already. Or a pitcher of sangria. Oh, I'm liking it even better. <laughs> With a super salad, a dinner, and a dessert for twenty nine ninety nine. I hate that. For two people? For two people. Time out just yeah. a second here. That We're is not bad. We're on a wait Monday through Wednesday because people are like, so excited to come in. Yeah. It's affordable. And even if you're not getting the dinner special, a lot of our items are all under $15. Okay. They're just good homemade food that... Family recipes that my mom has, which you've shared a she's, few of them. Yeah, she's the I cook. Have, I and have. I have great cooks. I really didn't think that people would want to come in and eat um, recipes, home recipes, but. People but they love do. That. They but love now that. They love I'm realizing that. Yeah. that that's what they want. And because that's what I think that's what really differentiates you guys from exactly. so many restaurants. Exactly. Is that the, the secret ingredient is the love. Yeah. So I love. don't think that's. The I same. think so. I think so. And the fact that we offer so many different things, like we're an Italian restaurant, but we have Greek influences because yeah. that's our background. Yeah. So we have like the staples, the pizza, the pasta, the salads, but. We do the like Greek stuffed peppers and then moussaka and baklava. Speaking of these Greek stuffed peppers, yes, yes. we're going to make these up in just a second. For now, though, we're going to throw it back over to you guys. Smell. Hi, we're here. Whoa, baklava <laughs> stuffed peppers. Angelos of uh, Cumberland with us this morning. And Lily is starting off the week the way she ended last week. <laughs> By eating. Oh, my gosh. This baklava is some of the best baklava I've ever eaten. What is this drizzled all over? Is that honey? Honey. Oh, my goodness. By the way, I did sneak in. I don't know if you saw this. Just before we came yeah. in, I snuck in a cup of coffee. I got a quick, quick, just a quick question. Who did you bring the that. baklava in for? You, Patrick. Mm. Oh! Let's see what's going on here. What? <laughs> Well, um, look, Lily, I... Lily, the stuffed peppers are for you. Okay, all right. Well, I've kept this nice section. Look, but since you already took it now, that's yours. All right, Patrick. And the other one's for Patrick. There, there we you go. go. Yeah. All right. Cooties. <laughs> Germs all over this. Thank you. Do you need me to hold that while you're working? No, I don't, because it'll, it dis there. it'll disappear. That probably is a smart Thank smart you for move. the thought of bringing that in for me. <laughs> I won't be able to enjoy all of it now, but it was a thought that counts. You're welcome, Patrick. All right, what is Patrick going to make for me this morning? <laughs> Patrick is making you stuffed Greek peppers. All right, so how are we going to start this off? We're going to start, we're already heating up the olive okay. oil. We're going to add the onions and the scallions. All of them? All of them. Oh, I like that sizzling sound. Which ones and are the scallions? Right here. Okay. <laughs> You saute. Patrick, he's big into cooking. You at home, saute till they're translucent. Then what you, the heck does that mean? That means that they look clear. Okay. Does you try mean? and keep them in the pan. Try to keep them in the pan. Yes. Preferably. Preferably. But if you get some out, that's okay. Patrick, did you have trouble coloring in the lines too when you were little? Uh, just so you know, I'm colorblind. Oh, that's L right. Really, I am. I, and uh, yet, you know what? Can I tell you? Labeled. Always, always well coordinated when you come in dressed in the morning. If you were running for office, I'd vote for you based on your appearance. I have a lot of help. I have tags on my clothes to tell me what to wear with each suit and tie. Oh, that's great. Do you believe me? <laughs> of 
course I do, Pastor. It's not true. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> How, okay, now we add the, the garlic. Okay. okay. Now, do you over there at uh, Angela's Restaurant of Cumberland, do you guys like uh, a lot of garlic? Yes, we do. Because we like a lot of garlic. We like a lot show. of garlic at Angelo's. I see Alex. She's nodding over there. Yeah, yes, garlic. Yes, yes, Now, we're going to add the parsley, the dill. All of it? All of it. I just like saying that. I like the, <laughs> the conviction in your voice. All, all of it. it. <laughs> dill, all of it. Okay. Patrick's kind of a dill guy. <laughs> add the white wine right there. <laughs> the tomato sauce right there. Right here? No, right there. Joking. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Well, and then, Patrick, then I'm pretty tomato impressed paste, with this. Tomato paste. Tomato right paste from the in tube, a tube. The best. Why do we need to do the sauce and the paste? Because it gives it a little better texture. Because I said so. It my recipe. thickens it up a little bit. Yes, that exactly. too. Exactly. That too. The rice. Now the you rice. You add a little water. You add Hamburg. The rice isn't cooked. It's going to cook. Okay. It's going to cook that, in that there. That surprised me, too. I what have to be honest. Yeah, because you have I thought to par, you... par cook it because okay. it'll never cook while it's baking in the oven for an hour. Right. It'll be too uh, too hard. Too hard. All of so it? So par cook yes. it, you don't have to quite cook it for as long. No. Add okay. a little water. And then this is the end result. Then we oh. stuff our peppers. And you can top them with feta or cheddar cheese. Oh, I want mine with feta. And is this is a recipe passed down from my mom that I've added it a little. Now, can I, can I just do it like this or a just little like more? Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. There we go. All of it. Now, when, we, when, we, when I'm done with this, <laughs> do, yes. we have to, um, do we have to put a little bit of water a in the A little bit of water, about a half a cup to, on the bottom of the pan. Okay. Cover it with foil. You bake it for an hour. Okay. At 350 degrees. And right at the end, you pull it off so it can brown nicely. Very nice. And is that when you put the cheese on? Yes, yeah, when you put the cheese right at the end, just right before end. you want it because you don't want it burning. Okay. You need your feta? I am getting. It's better with feta. I'm getting oh. the final dish out right now, oh. so we can look at. Oh goodness! Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep stuffing here, so we have some stuff for our interns to eat, and people in production. Look Lily, at Lily, this right feast! Oh boy! Are you, you serious oh, right now? Delicious! And that oh is. Oh my goodness! And that is the end result. <gasps> that looks heavenly. Now I just want to point out, you did put a little bit of hamburger in here, right? Yes, too? I did. Just so that it can, uh, it has a little bit. You more can make of it with or without, actually. I like that. Yeah. And all of the vegetables that I have here, you can stuff all of those with this mixture. Now tell me also, I see that you also have salads, and we you've got some salad, olives and some stuff. Some olives. Tell me about some of the other stuff you guys have there. We have our uh, Saturday specials that we do, and. Um, they include Greek. We have Greek night on Saturday night. And then we also have uh, delicious pasta dishes. You got a little bit of something we for have, everybody. Yes, we do. Mm. Yes, we do. Delish. You going to enjoy your baklava now, Patrick? Finally. <laughs> After oh. I already indulged? It's okay. Well, I tell you what. Thank you so much for coming. Tell, tell people where your uh, restaurant is. We're okay, at 133 time. Benton Road in Cumberland, Rhode Island. Easy to get to, and uh, lots, of t lots of people heading over there for, uh, to taste your delicious dishes. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you keep eating. And I'm going to throw Angela's Michelle. Angela's rocks. <laughs> because, Michelle, I already so much. dived Thank into uh, the baklava that you. Angelo's Thank brought here. Much. And uh, so Patrick's going to get a little, he's going to mm. get a bite or two in before I snatch it back from mm -hmm. him. Hey, and you know, we're finally.